So I've got my to-do list now and what I've done is using the plus button at the top, I've added some other sheets as well. So the first one that we can see is actually the front sheet. This is just an organizer and it's using quite a lot of the formula that we've already used. So we've got things like the total tasks, the overall progress. These are exact copies of the ones we already had there. And then I've got a few others. So I've counted up the number of different tasks. And again, this is using a count if formula. A lot of this background I've made just by using shapes and the symbols that I've added in quite simply go up to the circle and the square at the top. And you can search through shapes to add in there. So calendars, um, you can put those in. And if you click on them and click on the paintbrush at the top, we can also change the style of those to fit in with how we want it to look. So a lot of this is using aesthetics, but then again, using those tables and those formulas that we've used in previous um, examples. We've got a stack chart down the bottom here. Um, for this one, we've added up um, and we've counted if um, for the formula of what different types. And we've added how many are due right now, how many due um, another day. So for example, if I changed the date of something in our original sheet to be due on today's date, um, we have another task today that we didn't have. Um, we've also got these different um, categories. So if I change one to personal, then we can see that it goes from two up to three and that stat chart down the bottom will change. We've also got our total task. So if I deleted something from our task, um, it would take it down to nine. So these are all just using formula based across those sheets. And tomorrow I'll just show you how we can do that as well. We can change the priority as well. So you can see if I could take um, one of the high priorities out and make it a low priority, for example, that we lose one of those high priorities as well. So it's just about a really nice uh, front facing chart that just summarizes it so you can see what you've got on, what kind of tasks you've got on, what's um, high priority and how many you've got due right now. Thanks for taking the time to listen all about how to make our to-do list. Please do keep following for more information on how to use numbers.